Alright guys, so today I have a real, real great knife. I have the M9 Bayonet, made by Lancetti, made in the United States of America. First, let me talk about the sheet. Thermal plastic, military grade sheet, with the wire cutter emplacement, cord emplacement, and you have multiple slots in which you can attach your belt loops or to your equipment and this wire emplacement here what's its purpose is you mount the blade as such and you're able to cut through wire pretty good sheath big LAN K symbol in the back with the sharpening stone real real ideal for survival go on to the blade itself now this blade is actually used in the game battlefield 3 so I'm a real big fan of this knife and I've been wanting to get it for a while first let me talk about the blade 420 high carbon steel 7 inches long and 0.235 inches thick I mean, man, that just shouts military knife. This is this is ideal for survival. I can see why the military would choose this for their bayonets. Real durable, real solid, thick. Made in the U.S. This one happens to be made by Land K. Now there are other companies that have made them, but. Land K is now defunct and they don't make M9s anymore, so in a few years this should be rare. This knife came pretty dull. It was still greased up with the grease that it was packed in to preserve it. It was packed around 1995 and I just got it. I just got it 2012, this year. The blade was pretty dull, I mean, it still is pretty dull, you can't cut anything with it. But it was not it was not really meant for cutting, it was meant for puncturing. It is an M9 bayonet, it is an AR bayonet. The stamps are, I don't know if you can see that, the stamps are M9 Lan K. A U.S. That's what I love about this. It's made in the U.S. No sign of made in China here. All U.S. We also have a sawed back in the back. For wood, plastic, and light metal. And again, you have this hole here for the wire cutter emplacement. Now this is really, the wire cutting abilities of the M9 is really good. I tested it out on a couple of nails in another video and, man, chopped them like butter. And also, the solid head here, the solid head, this would make for an ideal batoning knife. And, the, and again, the guard is also steel. You were able to fit AR-15s within that hole. Attach it. And you have this quick release, quick lock schematics. Now, the color is solid green. Ontario's make them lighter, but Land K's, they're dark green. Now, let me... Let me show you the blade. Now, the handle is thermoplastic nylon handle. Still military grade. Really durable, real tough. Now the blade is not full tang. It goes about 
it goes about one one or two inches in and it's only attached through a screw driving pin and that pin goes all the way through the tank and ends up here this screw is actually attached to that pin but the blade itself is not full tank and the handle is not hollow also it's filled but if it's good enough for the army it's good enough for me also this would make a real real good hunting survival knife I got it off an army surplus store for about a hundred dollars and considering Lan K does not make M9 bayonets anymore that was a pretty good deal should be rare in a few years now the overall length of the knife is 12 inches and again it's 0.235 thick it will be used as a frying bar a prying bar it's one of the best knives that I've owned I mean military issued I got it for a hundred dollars it's used in the video game that I love yeah this is one of the knives that I really wanted Again, it fits snugly in here. The M9 Binet also has a lot of history behind it. Yep, one of the best knives that I've owned. Thanks for watching.